Hey everybody, it's Katie with Baby Steps and this is still the second week of daily nesting tips. Yesterday we talked about childcare and beginning your search for childcare because this week is all about timeline planning, which is knowing what tasks to do and when. And when you're expecting a baby, timeline planning is super important. This is the last day we're talking about timeline planning. Next week we are jumping into baby gear, so be ready for that. Um, but today we're gonna be talking about something you should do in your second trimester that you shouldn't wait till your third trimester and it is about planning a baby moon and going on this baby moon with your husband. What is a baby moon? It is just like your honeymoon, which is a special vacation that you take with your husband to um, just enjoy it, some romantic getaway before the daily grind of married life and, you know, the general daily tasks. So a baby moon is a romantic getaway with your husband, um, special time to collect your thoughts and regroup as a couple before the daily grind of parenting. So it is worth it. Why would anybody go on a baby moon? Let me tell you, it is important. It's like setting a precedent for what your priorities are. It's setting the foundation that you're gonna invest in your marriage and that investing in your marriage and putting your marriage first is important and it's the way you're gonna do things. Um, start now, don't wait till you have money or time because it's not gonna happen. <laughs> so you have to make it and you have to be intentional about it. Um, when should you go on a baby moon? Second trimester. Um, travel is not really recommended in your third trimester because you never know if you might go into labor early and um, you don't wanna be far away from your doctor. Definitely talk to your doctor, get your doctor's approval before you travel, however far along you are. That's important. But as far as travel time, I would recommend that you choose a destination that is not farther than five hours away. Um, if you're flying, um, sit in the aisle seat. You wanna be able to get to the bathroom if you have to, and it's important to be able to stand up and walk often, more often than usual, because you wanna get your circulation in your legs going. You don't want um, those dangerous blood clots that can happen, you know, just aisle seat, even if you typically sit next to the window, just opt for the, the aisle seat. Even if you're driving somewhere, I mean, a baby moon doesn't have to be like this amazing Cancun, you know, trip. It can just be a weekend away, um, just in the next state over, you know, just do something. But if you're driving, um, still stop often and get out and walk and stretch your legs and make sure that circulation is going in your legs. You don't want to have swollen ankles or any blood clots. Um, what type of resort would you choose for a baby moon? Well, let's face it, you know, from, <laughs> from this point forward, you're probably going to be vacationing in kid-friendly spots or family-friendly resorts. So choose a romantic one. Choose a romantic getaway for this one. Um, you know, look for a place that you can relax and not so, you know, busy, busy, busy. Life is crazy right now. You're thinking about all the things you need to buy. You're setting up your nursery. You have hormonal mood swings, hot flashes. <laughs> um, just, there's just crazy things going on. So you want to go somewhere that's gonna be pampering you and your husband and relaxing. Um, where should you go on a baby moon? Um, I would, you guys look, Google um, baby moon packages because it's out there, it's a thing. I've heard that the Four Seasons Hotel in like Scottsdale, Arizona offers something like this and it's like they provide body pillows and like prenatal massages and like chocolate upon arrival and things like that. So it's a thing, look for it. Um, but like I said, anywhere that's gonna be relaxing, it doesn't have to be um, this expensive, you know, vacation that is gonna make you bankrupt. <laughs> um, last, if you, you know, if you are trying to search for destinations and you want ideas, follow me on Pinterest. Um, there's a Pinterest board that says baby moon tips. Look under there for ideas. Um, but I hope this helps you. Um, next week, I'm talking about baby gear. And I'm going to scooch over to Facebook Live. So be sure to like Baby Steps Tulsa, my business page on Facebook, because that's where I'm going to be moving to. So I won't be here in Instagram stories. I will be talking on Facebook Live there next week. Um, but I really hope this helps you. Again, if you want more baby tips and nesting tips, um, 
go cruise on over to my website, babystepstulsa.com and subscribe and you'll get my free ebook in your inbox. It's 15 ways to nest, even if you're on bed rest. And those are just, it's just an easy to read resource for you, just full of practical tips. So cruise on over there, grab that. And I will see you next week, Monday. Have a great weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.